His name was actually Robert Clark, but he took on the name Indiana um, towards the beginning of his career after he moved to, to New York. Certainly love is what he's most famous for, right? The love sculpture that's outside is sort of the classic combination red, blue, green, which are colors that were very significant to him. The red adds into that um, as a particular connection to his father, whom he associated with the number six, which is sort of the prime of life. His father worked for Philip 66 for, for some time. But in addition to the red, blue, green love that we have outside, he made love in other languages. Here we see Amor. This one is Ahava in Hebrew, um, but also in different materials. These are marble. Um, they have never been shown before. He was sort of in, infatuated with the idea of the American dream. And these words that you see, hug, air, eat, die, recur again and again in his work. Those are words that for him encapsulated the idea of the American dream. This is what Indiana is most remembered for. This is what he'll always be remembered for. We wanted to show you a range of different love sculptures, but I also hope that after you see the exhibition upstairs that you'll understand that he did a lot more than just make sculptures of the word love.